We're in the home stretch of last minute Christmas shopping. What's the perfect gift for anyone on your list? Chocolate. And when you think of chocolate in the UP, you think of Sakely's. That's because this small, family owned candy store in Escanaba has been around for 114 years. Sakely's has been a destination for gift buying, for gift giving,、um, and the candies, of course. We ship them all over the world. It's a go to gift. For teachers, for priests, for secretaries, doctors, nurses, whatever. That's like a, a go to thing. If you're not sure, that's always going to go over very well. We have the big whoppers. We do a big deal for stocking stuffers. Yeah, we have a lot of, we have a nice selection. The beauty too is we have, our candy is made just right in town. So everything is fresh. You get it pretty much right off, right off the shelf. You know, it's brand new, fresh. The big rage for candy these days is sea salt. So we have dark sea salt, sea foam. Our probably next to the snappies is our dark caramel with sea salt. It's really popular. I met four generations of the Sakely family in their downtown Escanaba store, still in its original location. So the store started in 1906. My great grandfather came over from Lebanon, and his wife that he met here、um, also did, and they started this shop. I'd say that I grew up in the store. In those days, it was real simple. We used to have ice cream, and he used to make homemade ice cream. And、uh, we had a soda fountain here, and our, we had our homemade chocolates that we had. All their kids worked here. My grandma was the ninth of nine. At, go see a movie and come back to the store and then wait on the customers because we had a counter and had stools there. And that's where I met my husband. He, he came in and sat at the stool, and of course, I made him extra special malted because that's what he liked. <laughs> My great grandfather, her grandpa,、um, started making candies and you know, just a couple things at a time. The cream taffy swirl, that was the first candy they made. Cream taffy, and they did, it, we used to have had a hook like this, and they, they put the, the cream taffy on it, and it k e e p turning it and turning it and turning it, and it would turn to white. It k e e p moving it, moving it, and, and they're stretching it out and everything. And then we'd individually wrap it too at that time. But not machinery does, does it now. But we did everything by hand. And eventually it broke into you know, the fudge and the, the chocolate covered nuts and snappies. That's our coin phrase because you know, a turtle is a different trademark, I think. So they started calling them snappies to really set us apart. And so we've got the pecan and the cashew. My favorite are the peanut, and we have macadamia. The chocolate is so creamy and so delicious, you know, dark milk white. Everybody has their favorite. Dark chocolate. Dark, dark, dark chocolate. They had the soda fountain making the ice cream and everything until 1969. Yes. And then her aunties, who own the store,、uh, Joe and Marge, they expanded the gift line after that. While my grandma's brother, my great uncle, broke off and did the candy business. I worked at the candy shop. My brother. My brother owned a candy shop and uh, we, um, we, uh, we hand dipped all our chocolates in a、uh, marble slab. We had to make sure that the slab was a certain temperature so it couldn't be too cold, it couldn't be too warm. We worked the chocolate and then the, the boxes that they have now, we hand packed them. Everything was hand packed. He invented the Uper Bar, which you know, we're calling ourselves the home of the Uper Bar now. So a lot of people come here. Just for that,、um, if that's the one thing they know about Sakely's. And in 1983, my mom, who's the third generation, and my dad, they took over. Well, I was fortunate enough to work in the store when I was a young girl. I started probably when I was 14. And my two aunts, my mom's sisters, owned the store at the time, and I just worked with them. They pretty much took me under their wing and showed me how, you know, how to do it. Their main focus was always customer service. It still is. So it's pretty cool to know that your grandfather started this in 1906, then your aunts took over, and now we have it. Then my daughter and her little daughter, the next generation, and our little grandson. It's just it's amazing. And to know my mom is still around and talk about it. She's 92, and we're just very proud of the fact that we own Sakely's, plus it's still in town. and...
And it's been passed down not only from our family through generations, but through all of our customers through their generations, where people who knew my great-grandparents would come in, and then their kids, and then their kids, and then their kids. And we hear those stories weekly. Let's go with one dark caramel, a dark mint Oreo. Um, what's in the back there? A couple dark mint cookies, okay. peanut butter cookies. You know, this is a destination place for a lot of people when they travel. A lot of people say, oh, make sure you go to Sakely's, or they have to bring Sakely's back to um, their friends and family at home. And, you know, we're really proud of that. Mm -hmm.